Welcome to Fast Philosophy. This video is part of our Translating into Propositional Logic series and recaps what arguments are and introduces what propositional logic is. Logic is about arguments. Arguments are often a set of premises and a conclusion. Premises and conclusions are propositions, and a proposition is the unambiguous meaning of a declarative sentence. Propositions are either true or false, and cannot be both true and false. Now, arguments themselves don't have a truth value, they're either valid or they're invalid. One definition of validity is that an argument is valid if and only if its conclusion is a consequence of its premises. Arguments can be displayed in various ways. In this series, we'll discover how to represent arguments formally in symbolic propositional logic. Formal logic can tell us when a conclusion is always true, always false, or has an indeterminate truth value. Formal logic can also tell us when an argument is invalid and enables us to prove validity when the argument is valid. Let's start our conversion from natural language to formal logic by stating some of the terms we will use. In natural language, we talk about propositions. In formal logic, we talk about atomic formulas, which are represented using sentence letters. In natural language, we use sentence connectives to join sentences together and create longer sentences. In formal logic, we talk about formulas being combined with logical operators to form larger formulas. In natural language, we can make sentences indefinitely long by, for example, continuing to connect sentences using AND. In formal logic, we can also keep growing the length of our formulas using certain logical operators. This demonstrates that language is recursive. In natural language, we talk about arguments. In formal logic, we talk about sequence, which are represented using formulas, commas, and something called a turnstile to separate the conclusion from everything else. We will encounter these terms in more depth during the course of this series, but before we can begin to translate from natural language into formal logic, we must first understand the vocabulary, grammar and punctuation of propositional logic.